Uh, good morning, Chairman Logan, Cassano, Lamar, uh, Ranking Member Zawistowski, and the uh, Honorable Members of the Planning and Development Committee. I'm Craig Fishbein. I represent the 90th um, District in the General Assembly, which is Wallingford and Cheshire. Um, I also sit on the Wallingford Town Council, so I, I hold both seats. I, I'm here to testify uh, with regard to SB 421, and you have my, uh, my written testimony. I just wanted to su supplement that a bit. Um, in Wallingford, we, we have our own water company, we have our own electric company, we have um, what is advertised as the lowest electric rates in New England. We also have our own airport, uh, so we're pretty self-sustaining and uh, some say w that we should secede um, from the instability of the state and one of the things that impacts us year upon year is uh, state funding. Um, you know, our budget, our annual budget is $160 million rounded off and um, $29 million we have in reserves. $8 million of that is to maintain our AAA bond rating. Um, we've been able to accumulate those reserves by not doing certain things. You know, we don't have internet um, all through our town hall. We don't have our land records online. We don't have direct deposit for our employees. We're able to save that money and to store it. And through arbitration, you know, the ability to pay reserves is used against the town with regard to that calculation. Uh, what this bill does is it allows us to protect 15% of our annual uh, budget from that. Um, this past year, the governor looked to cut our budget by $21 million. 15% uh, of our annual budget is $24.8 million. We would have been protected from that, not the state cut, but from that prudent reserve fund being held against us. And that's all this does, and I think everyone should be in support of this, and, uh, and I thank you. Are there any questions? Mm -hmm. Representative Dubitsky. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I, there's a little confusion in some people's minds. I know I've, I've gotten my, my mind around this as to what the 15% is and what it actually protects. So could you just go into a little bit more detail about 15% of what, and what is it that that 15% is protecting? So um, if a municipality has reserves, um, and in the case of, of Wallingford, um, you know, the $29 million, 15% of the total annual budget is the calculation, so that comes out to $24.8 million. Um, going through an arbitration of um, a, a contract, collective, collectively bargained contract, um, in looking at uh, wages and, and things like that, arbitrators are allowed to look at reserves. So what this does is it sets aside that 15%, if a town has that, from part of that analysis. It, it, it doesn't have any effect upon anything in, in addition to that, if that answers your question. Uh, so what it's saying is that if the town has 15% of its annual budget in its general fund, that the arbitrator can't look to that 15% that's in the bank and use it as uh, to, to determine whether or not the town can uh, has the ability to pay for a, a given contract. Is that right? Correct. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Representative Zawistowski, followed by Representative Wilms. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, if you could, wouldn't mind, uh, Representative, just clarifying what the difference is, and I, you may have done this with uh, Representative Dubisky's yeah. answer, but clarifying what the difference is between what you're proposing here and what was in the implementer this past year. The implementer last year, um, I know the implementer was, well, so I, I think the implementer last year had 15% of the um, reserve fund versus 15% of the overall budget. So it was more of a subset um, and it was less of a savings. I mean, frankly, it, it was a little bit confusing. I think the intent was to capture the language of this bill uh, in the budget, and, um, but the way it was drafted was was more restrictive and it was 15 percent of of the savings account versus 15 percent of the overall budget 
Thank you, Representative. Um, we also, this, this bill actually passed out of committee, out of our committee last year. Um, no, actually it passed out of labor committee last year, and then our then uh, planning and development last, uh, last year as well. And I know that what we had approved is different from what was in the implementer, and I just wanted to make sure that, that the, the public was aware of that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Representative Wilms. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman, and uh, 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 Representative Fishbein, just a question. Um, I, I understand you're on the town council. Uh, did I hear that correctly? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I also served uh, municipally uh, for many years, and so the, um, when it comes to binding arbitration, uh, has it been your experience in, let's say, in some um, uh, uh, contract arbitrations where the arbitrators perhaps uh, mistakenly think because your town has, let's say, a sizable reserve fund, that that's an indicator that your town is rich, when perhaps it's more of an indicator of prudent and responsible fiscal management, and then perhaps your town's being unfairly penalized because of that. Is it, have you run into that, perhaps? Absolutely. Not only by arbitrators, but um, some people within the town um, you know, have that impression. Uh, in fact, going through the municipal elections this past year, some people were arguing that we should just spend all of our reserves, um, which we didn't end up doing because we are fiscally prudent. Well, thank you for that. So it seems to me what you're proposing is just a matter of basic fairness and correlation to the actual fiscal reality. So I, I appreciate your comments on that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Representative France. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, in addition to binding arbitration, you did mention your AAA bond rating, um, and, I, and I would also bring in, you also did mention auditing uh, each year that every town has to go through. And when I served on the uh, Finance Committee Chair of my own town, I, I was very familiar with that. Would you go into how the um, auditors recommend, what their recommendation is for a uh, fund balance uh, or a reserve fund for town and what they and the bonding agencies look at as far as that goes, uh, as far as percentage of your budget that they recommend? Yeah, from, from my knowledge, I, I believe 5% is, is required to, um, f in a minimum, uh, for, to maintain the bond rating that we're at. And I, and I think um, our practice has been to be about 8.5% eight, 8 um, to protect that. Um, and, I, and I believe the recommendation of the of the auditors, uh, the last time I, I looked at that, I think it was approximately twenty percent was the, was the recommendation. So. And that is my recollection. It used to be eight to fifteen percent, and most recently, I believe in the last year or two, the recommendation now is I think between fifteen and twenty percent. They're increasing that, I think, because of the if you look at it, the uncertainty of revenue uh, in our state. Uh, you're looking at towns that need to have that should the state decide to not send money to the town that they're committed to. Uh, towns need to have a reserve to be able to pay for services they're obligated to. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to point that it's not just binding arbitration that is a factor in uh, what we're holding and setting aside. It's actually good prudent uh, fiscal management and the auditors when they come in penalize a town uh, if they do not maintain e either a consistent basis for uh, how much fund balance I maintain or the appropriate amount. So thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Two notes of clarification. Uh, this was submitted, the package of bills was submitted as a House Republican priority and due to an inadvertent slip up at the clerk's office, they are uh, before us today as Senate bills. Uh, you have my commitment to try and work with you. Uh, despite my uh, misgivings with some of these bills, um, to work with you to ensure that that, that gets a proper uh, hearing on the House floor. Uh, and similarly, uh, you adequately represented the negotiations that we had last year. This bill uh, representing 15% uh, of a um, community's municipal budget reserve shall be uh, exempt from collective bargaining negotiations, did make it out of labor, did make it out of this committee by one vote. Um, and again, I was in opposition to it. Uh, but it is fair to suggest, and you accurately suggested, that the language in the implementer was intended to reflect that language and the current language and current law uh, is not accurate as to the intent. So I think this is simply a clarification that you guys are uh, rightfully pushing at this point.